Hi everybody, it's Julie for EllenHudson.com. Welcome to Hello Monday. Today I'm going to be giving you a sneak peek of an upcoming Brandy Kincaid set for the holidays called the Ugly Sweater Accessories. And this set is so cute. It's chock full of adorable tiny images and I thought it would be fun to make a whole bunch of tags. So I grabbed a tag shape from the parcel box tags or parcel box die set. And there's a couple of tag shapes in there that work really well for this set. And I just started uh, mounting some of the images randomly onto acrylic blocks, grabbed uh, some red and green festive holiday colors of Catherine Pooler water-based dye inks, and just went to town. Now, I've got these mounted onto the back of the post-it note because it anchors them in place. It keeps them from shifting around, and it enables me to move pretty quickly. And I can switch out ink colors, switch out, switch out images, and just bam, 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 just punch it. So now I've got all my tags done and you don't have to color them, but I thought it would be fun to try. So I grabbed my art graphic twin markers and I was kind of curious to see what would happen because these uh, Catherine Pooler inks are water-based. So the markers didn't have any problem. The inks didn't bleed out on me and I just got a wonderful colored effect. Now you might have problems if you tried yellow over a dark blue ink, something like that might end up giving you some smearing or bleeding issues, but this worked out really well and I was tickled to death with <laughs> how cute these tags turned out. Aren't they adorable? So then, like, what am I going to put them on? Well, I thought, well, let's make a gift card box. So I grabbed the parcel box die, and I already die cut from some card shop cardstock. This is a really fun green. I think it's Sour Apple or Granny... Granny Smith apple apple green cardstock. I'll have it listed down below. And then I'm going to do a random pattern here. So I grabbed the holly image from the set, got that onto a tiny acrylic block, and I'm using grass skirt because I thought it um, was a really nice uh color for this monochromatic effect. And I like to rotate my paper while I'm doing this to get the best random effect. And I always have scratch paper underneath. I don't like it when I stamp on a slick surface and I end up dragging my hand or my project through wet ink that's sitting on this work surface. So I prefer to work on scratch paper when I do my stamping. And then I'm going to go ahead and use a straight edge ruler to crease those fold lines. I find when I'm working on a heavier weight cardstock like this 100 pound that I just get a better fold, nice crisper fold if I use that uh, straight edge there along those score lines. And I did use the slits. There's a die in the parcel box die set for cutting slits for creating closures. And I went ahead and decided to cut right through the back of the box. And then I didn't even use adhesive on the flaps. I just found I didn't need to. And I popped a Starbucks gift card in there. And then I slipped some of that ribbon, uh, the Ellen Hudson ribbon that you get with every order. It's awesome. I always save it for my gift card boxes and went ahead. It's the perfect size for this. Trimmed off those edges and now I get to embellish my box with my little tag. I'm going to grab some gold cord and slip that through uh, the top hole there in the tag and loop that around my bow that's around my little gift card box. And then I don't know what they call this knot. I I don't know if it's a slip knot, but you just loop the ends around themselves and pull the pull the ends through the loop that you made. And it's simple. It's a super quick knot. <laughs> and I like doing that. It's very secure. It's not going to come undone. And there you can see my cute little Santa tag there on my gift card box. So here you can see I did a couple of them. I've got the reindeer here and I added one of those fun droplets there and a pom-pom on Santa's hat. And then I went, went tag happy and made a whole bunch of little tiny tags and just stapled them onto a card front here, which I thought was a fun look. We've got more still shots over at the blog along with tips and all the products used in this project are listed down below in the video description. And if you enjoyed today's video, please give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.